Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. I said, hey, hey, mama, rock me. Hey guys, my name's Kevin. Today, we're gonna be revisiting a tune that we've already done in standard tuning. We're gonna do it on the baritone. We're gonna do Old Crow Medicine Show's Wagon Wheels. I'm gonna show you the chords, the strumming pattern, and then we're gonna do a play along at the end so you have a chance to play and sing it with me. So get your baritone tuned up and let's get to it. All right, let's take a look at the strumming pattern here. So I'm gonna hold a G chord here, third fret on the E string to demonstrate the strumming pattern. So the pattern goes like this. We're gonna go down, down, and then up, down, up. So again, we're using our index finger to strum here. Good playing position. I've got my arm braced up against the baritone, keeping it nice and secure so it's not swimming away on me while I'm trying to play these chords. So we're just going to go down, down, up, down, up. Now, if you're counting this, which I suggest you do, you're going to count one, two, and four and. So something about strumming is you want to make sure that you're always subdividing. So your hand should always be going up and down. This song is in 4-4 four, four time signature. So our hand will always be going one and two and three and four and. The strum is just derived from that. So let's just try that together. Holding a G chord will go nice and slow because you're going to use the strumming pattern throughout the entire song. So good chance to kind of get some repetitions out of here. So here we go, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and one, two, and four, and. So spend some time with that strumming pattern. Get used to it. There's that little hesitation that happens there with the count, the way that this is counted. So you might need to just wrap your head around this, do a couple repetitions. And I do have practice tracks with this strumming pattern at allforyuke.com if you want to spend a little time with some audio recordings working on the strumming pattern. So let's jump into the chords. There's only a couple of them. You're going to use them over and over again throughout the song. So this song is really going to kind of press you to work on consistency, your timing, and just kind of having some endurance to play through a song with the same strumming pattern and the same chords over and over again. So the first chord, as we mentioned here, is the G chord. And that's played with my ring finger on the E string on the third fret. The second chord is a D chord. So the D shape looks like this. I'm going to have middle finger on the little E string on the second fret, index on the G string second fret, and ring finger on the B string on the third fret. You want to make sure you're really on your fingertips here. You should see your fingernails facing up at you. Also, this little tilt here with your hand will help you with the fret spacing to get your fingers squeezed in there. E minor is our next chord. Nice easy one here on the second fret on the D string. Again, make sure you're getting all of these open strings. You're not laying your hand down at all on your fingertips. And then our fourth chord is the C chord. So we're just gonna take this E minor chord, add our index finger to the first fret there on the B string. And now we have our C chord. So let me teach you this chord progression that's gonna happen throughout the song. It's only gonna use those four chords in this sequence. So first time through, we're just going to play the strumming pattern one time each from G to D to E minor to C. So that's the first time through. And then right after that, we go back and we play G, D, both one time. And the only variance is right here, we go to the C chord, we skip the E minor on the second half, and we just play the C chord twice through the strumming pattern. So we're gonna go through that now. You can follow along on the graphic below, but we're just gonna play that sequence of chords together, nice and slow with the strumming pattern, so you have a chance to kind of work on your chord changes. Focus on your strumming, focus on keeping the chord shapes nice and close to the neck here. You shouldn't see your hand popping off 
You should always see your fingernails kind of facing back at you and have this nice rounded shape with your fingertips as you go. All right, so make sure you're tuned up. We're gonna try this together. Just the chords and the strumming pattern nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four, G. time back to G keep smiling doing the D chord E minor C then back to G D and then let's do C twice and four and one two and four and so spend some time with those chords Really hone in on this chord progression because you're gonna be doing it a lot. If you have any questions about the strumming pattern, I do have a full series on strumming and we'll be launching a full baritone strumming series as well in the near future so you can check out a bunch of different strumming patterns for the baritone. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this pretty close to the actual song tempo. So follow along below and I'll kind of lead us through with the vocals. Simple form, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus. So gonna be playing that same chord progression a bunch of times. Just work on your consistency, trying to play it nice and easy. Here we go. Starting with the intro. One, two, three, four. Outro here. 
your same chords. strum on the G chord. Well, hey, that was a lot of fun playing Wagon Wheel with you guys. I hope you had some fun singing and playing these easy chords on your baritone. If you like this tune, you're going to love the song sheet I have for you at allforyouk.com. You can check that out. There's a PDF for this song, several others, and we are building the Baritone Uke library of songs. Every week we're going to be putting a new tune in there for you. So, Make sure you're checking back to allforyouk.com often. If you guys have song requests or you just have any comments, anything about this video, leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that little subscribe button. And we're going to be releasing new videos every week, so make sure you're in the know. My name's Kevin. I thank you so much for hanging out today. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.